this promotional video presents contrastive fingerprinting, a novel website fingerprinting attack over few shop traces, a joint work from Xiamen University and the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. I am Jia Hao Feng, a research student from Xiamen University. Traditional web access poses a significant threat to user privacy. Some traffic encryption technologies have appeared to protect sensitive data. Anonymous system further conceal the destination of web access. However, recent website fingerprinting attacks exploit information leakage from encrypted traffic to identify the visited websites. Firstly, the attacker captures the traffic traces and extracts each website's trace features, called the website fingerprinting. Secondly, it obtains feature records and trace a website classifier. Thirdly, it snips the user's trace and utilizes the trending classifier to predict the recent websites. Then, as a classification problem, permitted WF attacks manually extract traffic features and become vulnerable to WF defense. Recent WF attacks that adopt deep learning can achieve 96% accuracy. However, they require extensive training data, suffer from non bootstrap time, and are sensitive to changes in data distribution. Collecting rust training traces is costly and impractical. How about simply reducing training traces? See, the accuracy of deep learning based WF attacks decreases rapidly when the number of training traces decreases. Therefore, we face a challenging problem. How, we, how do we decide and implement an efficient WF method in a few shop scenario? We propose contrastive fingerprinting, which leverage contrastive learning and data augmentation in few shop scenario. Contrastive learning is good at feature representation, via data augmentations in which training, training traces based on a few collected traces. CF superiority has been verified. It outperforms two popular future WF methods, considering different TBB versions and natural condition. If you want to know more, please look at our paper. Thanks for your attention.